Tim Gresh here with a gear review. This is going to be on the new Cell SMP uh, Evo. Now, this is a saddle that they came out with um, earlier this year. It's 2024 in June, so I think it was last month, May-ish, that they came out with this. And this saddle has a different construction than your typical Cell SMP, um, just all throughout. They use a different uh, construction uh, method so you're not getting that kind of like true leather feel it kind of has a little bit more of a synthetic type of feel or sort of like a rubbery a little bit more of a grippy feel to it now they have two versions they have the Evo and then the Evo Plus um, this is actually the Evo and this is the Evo Plus so this saddle is interesting and SMP is just interesting in general because the names of the saddles like are very confusing. They don't really refer to anything. They just are names. Now, let's first talk about this one here, the blaster. So the blaster has been around for a long time. This is your traditional Cell SMP made out of leather. Um, great saddle. This is actually what I use personally. And I fit a lot of riders on this. Um, a lot of women like this saddle as well. A lot of men like this. It tends to be good as a gravel seat and a wider version of the blaster is actually the number or the N-Y-M-B-E-R, Nimber, whatever you want to call it. But the Evo is basically the same thing, what I found. So I actually took um, my blaster and replaced it with an Evo and started riding with it just to see how it felt. And I actually kept it on because it felt the exact same. If anything, I almost liked it a little bit better, but the shape is basically the same. I'm not sure what it is I like about it. I guess the padding is just a little different and just kind of, I don't know, it's maybe mixing things up. But like, if you have the blaster, you're gonna like the Evo. It's basically the same shape. It's also lighter as well. I can't speak to the construction in terms of how long it's gonna last. I did notice kind of on the inside here, maybe you can see it, a little bit of creases kind of developing on the inside there. Uh, from use. I don't know what that really means, if that's going to, you know, wear and tear long term. But in terms of the general shape, it is just like the blaster. I mean, if you look at those two side to side, uh, very identical in every way. And just from someone like myself, who's been riding this saddle for a long time, I hopped on this thing, and it was like, felt the same. And then what I did was I also tried the Evo Plus, and uh, not, no surprise, it felt just like the Evo. However, when you add more padding to the Cell SMPs, I've found, it creates a little bit more of kind of a peak at the top, so you kind of have a different pressure point. So I actually felt like kind of more sharper pressure points on this than I did the Evo. So I think this would do well with maybe a heavy rider that just needs more padding. They're gonna kind of sink down into it. Whereas maybe a lighter rider, say 180 and under, might like the Evo a little bit better. But hey, there's my review and take on the new Evo saddle. Basically, it's a blaster in my view. Thanks for watching.